In this video, let's talk Chiefs versus 49ers in an instant post-game reaction. Look at how the Chiefs dominated this game. One by three scores, almost four scores, and it wasn't even close. Basically, the Chiefs did what they wanted all game long, and the 49ers could do nothing about it. So let's talk about it. But first, how about those? What's up guys, my name is Cole and I do daily news about the Kansas City Chiefs, so make sure to sub if you're new, hit that like button, all that good stuff, and let's get into this video, man. It was a crazy day. What a game that was, Chiefs versus Niners. Things looked bleak at the beginning, did it not? 10 to nothing real quick, Niners. And I'm over here going, Chiefs, why do you like to do that? Why do you like to go down multiple scores before coming back and showing them what's up, showing them what's good? Why do we do that? I don't know. And then Sky Moore muffed another punt early, and I was like, oh my God, here we go. But alas, Jimmy G choked like a child with chicken nuggets. I literally have chicken nuggets here that my wife brought down. He choked like a child with chicken nuggets in the red zone, blown coverage by the Chiefs on a cover zero blitz, running back wide open. He never looked that way. Threw it to George Kittle. Joshua Williams with the pick. Reset. Chiefs from there, basically all gas, no breaks, Never look back. McCall Hardman, three touchdowns on one, two, three jet sweeps. Frank Clark with a key safety to really basically seal the game as the Chiefs then drive down. I think that was the next drive where Juju Smith-Schuster catches a huge pass wide open in the field and takes it all the way to the freaking house. Chris Jones with a strip sack. Lights out, man. I will say this, Harrison Butker missed a three-pointer. He missed a field goal. We've missed a field goal in like our last four or five games in a row. A bit nerve-wracking to me if the game was going to be close. But the Chiefs defense held it down. The Chiefs defense multiple times kept the Niners from seven points. They made them kick field goal after field goal after field goal. And when they were close to scoring, instead of a touchdown, it was an interception by the rookie Joshua Williams. The Chiefs secondary held up. I think Justin Reed had a, a bit of a rough day. He had several missed tackles, a couple miscues here and there. But overall, on all three phases of the ball, the Chiefs played a pretty good game. You can always nitpick a game. But when you win 44-23, to 23, when you win by three touchdowns, does it matter? Yes. The Chiefs will go in. They'll address some of these plays. They'll address the miscues and say, hey, we got to do better here. We got to do better here. We got to do better here. But overall, going into the bye week, how can you not ask for anything better? A clear win, a W, no debate, no ifs, ands, or buts. The Chiefs face three top five scoring defenses in the NFL in their first seven games and are two and one against those defenses. They only lost to the Bills by four. Great place for the Chiefs to be in. Let's look at some of these game stats. Let's look at how these players did. Mahomes, 25 for 34, 423 yards. Three TDs and an interception. Garoppolo, 25 for 37, 300 yards, two TDs and an interception, five sacks. Mahomes only sacked once by Bosa. So looking at this right here, knowing who the 49ers are, knowing who they have on defense, hats off to the freaking O-line. I'm going to give out a few game balls. One of them is going to go to the O-line. After a couple, you know, scary, rough, sketchy games with the O-line coming up short, they sure did deliver this game, did they not? Isaiah Pacheco was given the nod at RB1 today. That's like a loose quote. He wasn't really RB1. Until the end of the game, as he got a few snaps in garbage time, CEH led in snaps. But CEH had a great run. On the outside, for 16 yards and a TD. Great work by CEH there. Isaiah Pacheco, though, does lead. Eight carries, 43 yards. Longest with a 17, was a 17-yarder. CEH, 32. If I zoom out a little bit, yeah, we can get their average yards here. So Pacheco averaged 5.4 yards per carry, CEH 5.3. I think it's time, y'all. It's time to give C, uh, Isaiah Pacheco some more reps. It's just time. And I don't mind that they're doing it. I say do it again next week. Give him the nod. He also, we'll get to it, but he also had a very, very clutch kick return as well. If we look at receiving, actually, let's look at this. Christian McCaffrey, eight rushes for 38 yards. 
4.8 yards per carry. Wilson, 7 for 54, had over 7 yards a carry. But let's look at receiving. Juju Smith-Schuster, 7 receptions, 124 yards in a TD. Long, his longest was that 45-yard TD. So he caught 7 passes on 8 targets. Meanwhile, MVS caught 3 passes on 4 targets. 1 for a 57-yard bomb on a 3rd and 10. Hello, MVS. Let's freaking go. Travis Kelsey, 6 for 98 on 8 targets. They were trying to get Kelsey over 100 yards. Fed him a screen at the end of the game that he dropped. Bummer. But it doesn't matter. Does it really? Jarek McKinnon had a couple passes for 36. McCall Hardman, 4 for 32. And a TD on receiving. Then he had a couple rushes. They were all jet sweeps. Fortson saw a pass. Watson saw a pass. Gray saw a pass. So once again, how many, how many receivers caught passes today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mahomes average, he averages eight to nine uh, different receivers catching passes per game. And he didn't disappoint this game, did he? He literally apologizes every week to fantasy football owners saying, I'm sorry if you picked one of our receivers today. Now, if you pick Juju, you pick Kelsey, it's a good day. If you pick Hardman, God bless. Nice day on some TDs. 423 yards in the air. Three TDs. Justin Watson with a key TD in the red zone. You love to see that. I haven't seen much of him since uh, maybe the Chargers game, but I like that. On the 49ers side, George Kittle almost had 100 it's funny, both Kelsey and Kittle had 98 yards. Ayuk had 82. But again, Christian McCaffrey even had a couple. Christian McCaffrey got involved quite a bit. Wasn't enough. Sky Moore with that fumble. Patrick Mahomes fumbled but recovered. Malik Herring recovered a fumble from that strip sack on Chris Jones. Let's look at the defense real quick, y'all. Juan Thornhill led the team in tackles with 11 in the game-ending interception. Nick Bolton, eight tackles. Willie Gay, eight tackles. Great to see Willie Gay back out there. Sneed, half sack. Willie Gay, half sack. Colin Saunders, half sack. Frank Clark, one and a half sacks from Frank Clark, including a sack for a safety. You love to see it. Frank Clark also had two QB hits. What the heck is Chris Jones? Three tackles, but he had two sacks. Look at this man, a tackle for loss. Chris Jones, both of these sacks were huge, both on third downs. Chris Jones is that guy. He been that guy. No debate. Outside of Aaron Donald, the best defensive tackle in the entire league, I pray to God the Chiefs extend him next year. His contract's looking uh, a bit wild next year. It's like a $25 million cap hit. They either have to extend him, they could keep it, I guess, or trade him. I would assume they extend him, but we'll see. Defense, overall, looking decent. We'll pull up the the game, you know, like the overall team stats here in a second, but two picks. Juan Thornhill, Joshua Williams with that key pick, man. So happy for the rookie there. Isaiah Pacheco with these kick returns. His longest, one in particular with that 48-yard kick return, going all the way to midfield, gets tackled late out of bounds, pushed late out of bounds, and attacks on another 15. You gotta love that. Harrison Butker, sadly, 6 for 6 on PATs. Extra points, but he missed a field goal, the only field goal of the day, which is a bummer. Tommy Townsend only punted one time. Let's look at the team stats real quick, and we'll, we'll break down a couple more things here. They had 529 total yards, 10 drives. They average 9.1 yards per play. They're basically averaging a first down per play. I like that. A couple of those were a bit inflated by the big pass to MVS, the TD pass to Juju Smith-Schuster, but hey, we'll take it. Mahomes averaged 11.3 yards per pass. Only sacked once. He did have that INT. Crazy, man. He ended the Bills game on an INT, and his first pass to Sky Moore. This game was an INT. Two passes to Sky, two INTs. A bit of a bummer, but it doesn't matter because they, they overcame those early obstacles in the game and freaking won. It's fine. Third downs. Chiefs were six for nine on third downs, dude. I mean, almost 66%, something like that, on third downs. And one of those was a 57-yard a bomb on a third and 10 to MVS. Guys, basically what happened is the Chiefs dominated this game. It wasn't close. If I have to give a game ball to multiple people, I'm going to give a game ball to McCole Hardman. Three TDs in this game? Are you kidding me? I'm going to give a game ball to Juju Smith-Schuster. This is his second game over 100 yards receiving. I'm going to give a game ball to the freaking offensive line because they only allowed one sack on Patrick Mahomes. 
multiple, multiple plays, Patrick Mahomes had time in the pocket, clean pocket, go through his reads, make the plays down the field, make it freaking happen time and time again. On defense, I mean, I'm going to give a game ball to, to Joshua Williams. Interception in the red zone. I realized that was a bit of a flub by Jimmy G. It happens with Jimmy G. He folds under pressure sometimes. It just is what it is. He did the same in the Super Bowl. Um, but the, the loss isn't fully on Jimmy G here. The Chiefs were just too good. I want to give a game ball to... I mean, you could give one to Juan. He led the team in tackles, had a, the interception at the end of the game. Patrick Mahomes, of course, could get a game ball. I mean, he could get a game ball almost every game. But Patrick Mahomes was 25 for 34, 423 yards, 12.4 average yards per completion, 132.4 rating. We can give a game ball to Patty, Patty Mahomey. And we gave a lot of game balls out to the offense, but you could give one to Chris Jones if you wanted to just for both of those sacks being on third downs. He had a strip sack. Frank Clark had a safety. I mean, hats off, man, to the Chiefs. You couldn't be happier. And I'm freaking ecstatic just for how this team responded to losing to the Buffalo Bills. Tough loss to a great team. You know, no, no shade to the Bills. They're a great team, man. But the Chiefs could have won that game. They had opportunities. They didn't deliver. Well, they sure delivered this game. Did they not? How can you guys not be happy with this performance? How can you not? You guys got to let me know your thoughts on this game in the comments down below. Who are you going to give game balls to? Offense, defense, maybe special teams, all three. Let me know. What were your favorite plays, standout plays? Who played well? What are some areas the Chiefs need to work on to get better? We have a bye week next week. Chiefs are very good off of a bye. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on all this in the comments down below. We'll definitely fight about it down there. Per usual, make sure to leave a super thanks or bearded comment to potentially be featured in an upcoming vid sub like you know the freaking deal. Then check out this video here, which is a live play-by-play -play reaction stream that I did. Don't watch it all. It's like five hours long, but you can go through some of the standout plays. You'll probably enjoy it. And until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about those?